Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to talk about the hi-hat. All right, so we have hi-hat, right? So the hi-hat's really unique because you hit it with your stick and you also lift up and you hit it with your, your foot. Okay, so many of you may have seen my video. On Instagram where I'm doing a quick right, left, right, right, left. And this is uh, part of my hi-hat technique that I'm gonna give you guys uh, some of my secrets. So uh, yeah, so it's right, left. You come under with that left hand real quick. Right, left, right, right, left. Paradiddle tap. Paradiddle tap. Right, left, right, right, left. So what I'm doing is I'm doing like an underhand thing right here. Bam, bam. Really flicking the hi-hat real quick. So it's real quick underhand. Right, left, right, right, left. So it can also work with your foot. So this this takes this is the hardest part. If your rudiments are pretty good and you can um, you know execute the paradiddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. So that's kind of the basis of the rudiment. With an accent on the first beat. So if you can do this rudiment, then you can do uh, this. You're going to have to practice this flick, though, of the wrist. So this under hi-hat technique, I saw this when I was a kid, and I was like, man, what are people doing? They're getting that quick. We see a lot of drummers doing this... Uh, And so obviously you can see that I built up my fingers. And if you want to watch a video on that, I'll put a link for it. But um, yeah, build up your fingers to be able to do. And then you add in that flick. Right, left, right, right, left. So here's a beat. So this is me messing with the hi-hat. Just um, kind of using traditional grip and doing some back sticking. Um, here's another technique that I use. It's similar to the push pull technique, but it's going from the edge of the hi hat to the, the top. And so I am demonstrating some different ways that you can navigate the hi hat. And um, yeah, it's kind of based on drum rudiments and like 16th notes, eighth notes, and just trying to apply. Um, different rhythmic ideas going between two drums or going between the hi-hat and the snare. So that's what you're kind of hearing right now. So this is a review of the right, left, right, right, left, paradiddle tap. And that's how you do it. Work it up and get it down. So here's a, a little foot action, what I'm doing with my foot sometimes when I'm using the hi-hat. So there's something called like a bark, I think people call it. And you go between, you like lift your foot. So I'm incorporating that along with the uh, hi-hat technique. So another thing I do a lot of when I'm on my hi-hat foot is I'll pulse eighth notes. I'll subdivide and that kind of helps me with the groove. So you'll see my leg rocking back and forth. That's because I'm doing uh, eighth notes and then I'm ready right there when I need to pop that foot up to do a pssst. It's already ready to go.
So the foundation of this lesson is to get that hi-hat flick. And um, that's really um, what allows me to get that like triplet fill or get that extra 16th in there coming in on the underhand. So it took me a, it took me like a month to develop it. And um, after I got it, it was good. And so yeah, just, you know, take some time and work on it. It's definitely worth it because it really helps. It really helps with the groove for sure. Enjoy the rest of the video. God bless. So here is the up close of the hi-hat flip. And I'm taking out my right hand so you can kind of hear how quickly it comes. It comes really quick. You just got to be ready to bam, ready to just jump right in with that buck cut. And then, yeah. Flicking over the wrist like that, boom, bam, bam, right under there. Right, left, right, right, 